Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you on how to do a wiring of an Omron PLC. First of all, we have to know the basic components or the basic parts of a PLC has. Basically, all PLC have a three main parts. Those three main parts are the inputs, the CPU that process the logic, and the outputs. Like here, as you can see, that is a Omron PLC, a compact CPU type. This wiring layout is a sample on how you connect your digital input signals to the input side of the PLC. So here, this is how to wire the inputs. In the COM terminal, is the common of the input side of the PLC input and the other terminals that have a number written are coming from your input signals here in COM terminal you can wire it and connect to the DC power supply to the 24 volts DC positive side if you want a NPN signals from your input switches. However, if you want a PNP signals from your input, your COM terminal in PLC must wire and connect to the negative side of a power supply. Then, in your switches, here is also we can call it a common side of all your switches wiring inputs so here this is the common side in your switches so based in the diagram the common here in the switches are wired and well connect to the positive side of a power supply Here is the example of actual wiring of the PLC Omron CP series PLC. In this actual wiring diagram, as you can see, these are the switches, the push button, the limit switch, pressure switch, as well as the selector switch. In the input of the PLC, the first channel is addressed starting from 0 0.0, 0, 0 0.01, 0 0.02 to 0 0.11 and the next address is 1 1.00, 1.01, 1.02 to 1.11 respectively. The first push button is connected to the address 00 in the first channel. The next push button is connected to 01. The limit switch is connected to 03. The pressure switch connected to 05. And the selector switch is connected to 07 based on the wiring diagram. So the example here the input switches are sending signal to the PLC input terminal by a positive or PNP signal. And the common of the PLC input terminal will be negative. So based in the wiring here, these are sourcing input or PNP input signals. The common of all the input switches here are connected to the positive side of the terminal of a power supply and you must use a sensor device that have a PNP signal or positive signal out from the sensor directly I will say if your common or the common terminal of the PLC input 
is connected to the negative power supply then you must use a switches or sensors with a positive signal the point here is it is inversely proportional like if the common terminal input of the PLC is negative the common from your switches will be opposite or positive here is how you should wire the source power of your PLC based on the given wiring diagram from terminal L1 connect wire from it to the load side of your miniature circuit breaker and for terminal L2 slash N connect it to the load side also of the MCB or miniature circuit breaker use a double pole miniature circuit breaker ranging of 6 to 10 ampere and from terminal ground symbol connect it to your terminal that has bonded to the grounding system of your machine so here is the output side of the PLC on how to wire it to the output devices so this is how you connect your output devices to the output side of the PLC this is the sample wiring diagram of Omron PLC output wiring. This output type of the PLC is a relay output. So you can see here, there are many COM in the terminal block. That is a common terminal of your outputs. And let me draw of this output wiring to make it simple to do and to understand the wiring in the COM terminal connect it and loop it all together and connect it to the positive of a power supply as what you see in the given diagram then in the output terminal block that has a number written like 00, 01 until 07 that would be the external or your final output so from terminal 00 to 7, 07, wire it to your output devices like coils in the relays, coil in the solenoid, the lamp indicators, and other devices that have or need a two potential difference, and those are your outputs. And in your output devices, the remaining coil terminals also need to be connected all together and connect to the negative side of a power supply in the diagram I am using a 24 volts DC supply to my output common terminal then must use an output devices that have 24 volts DC coil in other way you can also use AC 110 volts to 220 volts AC connect to your common terminal in the PLC output terminal COM better to use a 24 volts DC supply to your common terminal and using a 24 volts DC output devices lastly the final output are addressed as follows in the given table the address from the first channel starts from 100 as word address and has a bit address of 8 bits starting from 100.00, 100.01, And the second channel starts from 101 as a word address and its corresponding bit addresses as follows starts from 101.00 101.01 101.02 to 101.07 respectively
So thank you guys for your time to watch this video as this serves as your reference and guidance on how to wiring of inputs and outputs of your Omron PLC compact CPU type. See you in the next video tutorial.